A few questions asked about the prior video where I uh, took a hacksaw literally to the 10.5 millimeter nick or fisheye. I've done it to another lens that I got rid of and I didn't lose any value on it about six years ago. I've got two 10.5 millimeter fisheyes but I've had a few people request uh, me to do it. Um, you have to be very careful doing it but it actually greatly increases its usefulness and uh, the important factor is you go from 180 degrees in field of view on the Nikkor 10.5 millimeter fisheye to a little over 200. Um, the second uh, great addition, um, you get much uh, greater field of view in FX mode when you turn uh, FX auto crop on. Since it has CPU contacts in the, the back, as soon as you stick it on any FX camera, it's immediately going to crop it down to DX. The camera doesn't know that you've hacksawed off the, uh, the pedal the pedals off the front of the lens so you have to take it out of auto uh, DX crop mode so you have a much wider field of view top to bottom obviously you do have a, uh, a top and bottom uh, cropped uh, large circle but the other advantage is, is that uh, I don't know if you know how much a circular fisheye costs but like the old 8mm fisheye which isn't made anymore it costs a fortune a lot of money a lot um, I kinda miss having this lens I mean I haven't used it in was the other one that I sold off. Uh, used it in I think five plus years. Um, so that's one advantage. Increased field of view. You go from 180 to over 200 millimeters. If you use stitching software, I've got a couple that I'm using. Um, you can actually take only four shots and get 360 top, bottom, left and right all the way behind you uh, in the stitching software which is really neat to do. Um, Secondly, it's two lenses in one. This actually does not alter the lens. It alters it physically, but if you throw this on a DX uh, camera, it's exactly the same as it always was. And if you use it on an FX camera and stick it in its uh, default DX crop mode, it's exactly the same as it was. So you haven't permanently altered the characteristics of the lens. The only thing that's changed is that you can able to take it, you're able to take it out on a full frame camera out of uh, auto DX crop mode and get a large circular fisheye view with over 200 degrees of coverage. So the lens retains all its functions if you use it uh, in crop mode. Uh, if you, uh, excuse me, if you stick it in crop mode and uh, and or it's a normal uh, use on a DX camera, but you have that expanded use and that also makes it very useful. Obviously you wouldn't want to use many shots with it, but if you're doing a commercial shoot or if you're doing a paid shoot for a wedding, you know, obviously you're only talking about a few shots here and there, but people love them. Um, be very useful in uh, a large gathering or at the, at the, uh, at the meal in a wedding or uh, a concert. You have a circular fisheye shot. They always fascinate people and one of the main reasons it fascinates them is because they never see anything. And, and photography that people don't normally see obviously can get really hackneyed very quick. I mean, there's only so much of a fisheye shot you can take, much less a circular fisheye. But it's very unusual and very few people have this lens because if you're able to get the circular fisheye lens, it's insanely expensive and very few people have it. Um, the last advantage that uh, castrating this lens... <laughs> Uh, not castrating, circumcising. <laughs> Wrong word there. I said castrating. I meant circumcising. <laughs> this lens has is that if you have like a D700 or a D3 here, in DX crop mode, you've dropped from 12 megapixels down to uh, a little bit over 4 megapixels. So you're able to use this lens. Obviously, you have a lot of black vignetting uh, on either side. Um, but you're able to use the full 12 megapixels and uh, you're still, you know, it's still drastic improvement so you don't have to use this lens in DX crop mode. Um, with the pedals on there before cutting them off you would have to because it's just nonsensical oddball, uh, uh, very oddball shape, you got a rectangular uh, formation over here and then black and then circular up here and then black on the corner so no one wants to look at that but they do like the circular fisheye. So you are able to use the lens commercially. Um, uh, yeah, so you have the advantages of a circular fisheye that's insanely expensive. You buy just the, the lens itself. The regular 8mm circular fisheye, you have a much wider field of view. There's two lenses in one. It still retains all its functions and uh, you are able to use uh, 
a full frame use in uh, in a full frame in a uh, full frame camera like the D3 or the D700, since you would not want to use any DX crop sensor lens on the FX on the uh, D3 or the Nikon D700 or the Nikon D300, since the megapixel count is really really low. Um, Oh, one other thing. Check the links below, and uh, I've got some test shots. Yeah, they're really boring. They're just taken outside the house, so don't piss about the shots being exceptionally boring, because they are boring. But see the links below, and see how you can actually use a, uh, a circular fisheye. And I uh, included a link to one shot where the trees are actually hanging overhead, but since it's a circular fisheye, it actually bends a long branch around the circle of the fisheye and it gives a really really neat composition. If you start thinking of how a circular fisheye distorts, people think, well I don't like that distortion, but you can use the distortion to your advantage because you're able to, artists use it too. Some people, uh, artists actually create a circular painting and uh, they actually uh, create the composition of the painting so that things are wrapped around inside the orb of the painting and you have to use a circular fisheye the same way and a fisheye lens requires, since it is a specialty lens, it requires specialty use. I mean, you can make a gorgeous woman look, a, look like a butt ugly dog with this lens uh, if you, you know, you get in close and you take a shot like this, but if you layer someone's body along the curves of the fisheye or frame a tree or a building or something else, you can actually take advantage of that extreme circular distortion in the circular fisheye. So, you know, you can really screw up a shot with this lens, but if you actually know what it is that uh, you're doing and you start thinking about using that distortion to your advantage, distortion and, uh, you know, like bent trees, I mean, trees that are bent over like that, normally no one would want that in a landscape shot, but this does have a lot of compositional value that people really like if you know how to use it right. So, anyway. Still packing for Key West and Fort Myers, so got a few more videos to make then it's time to hit the road.